Hello, it's Scott Manley here with a quick Kerbal Space Program video. This is a creation by Meticulous Mitch, and I actually uploaded it about a week ago, and I didn't find out about it till now, but frankly, I am flabbergasted by this thing. He has managed to create what is supposedly the first entirely stock helicopter. And uh, in keeping with realism, it's apparently about as difficult to fly as a real helicopter. What I've had to do is retract the gear. And now, uh, next, I have to kind of right click here, get ready to decouple this. But before then, I have to press G to redeploy the gear, space to start the rockets. Oh, yeah, and I've got to throttle up the rockets and then uh, decouple that. So let's try this. Uh, one, two, three. Oh wow, look at it go! Oh no 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 no! Okay, let's get this thing back under control. Uh, I'm trying to turn the other way, but it ain't doing that. <laughs> oh that, wait a second, I get a tail rotor that isn't helping me very much. <laughs> maybe this thing will stop rotating for just a minute. Uh, maybe if I turn on the ASAS it'll lock. No, I've got full RCS on and it ain't helping me very much, but it is flying, look at that! Look, let's look at it from the cockpit view, huh? What a magnificent chariot of the gods this is, huh? I tell you, I can't wait, I'm gonna be playing at uh, the, the ride of the Valkyries soon, huh? <laughs> Get to the chopper! Um, <laughs> I don't know how to stop this thing spinning. Yeah, meticulous Mitch, I am I am frankly flabbergasted at your ability. Uh, it is clearly outdoing my ability. How's <laughs> this going? I'm gonna get out of this. Ah! <laughs> Apparently, well, I was I have a friend who flies helicopters, and he was explaining to me recently. How, uh, how complicated helicopters actually are. You know, you have like a joystick in one hand and in your left hand you have the collective lever uh, and in your feet you have pedals. And the way it works is, you know, you kind of... Um, you basically throttle up the engine and then if you once you get in the air, if you want to go forward, you know, you push the joystick forward, right? Well, then the next thing you do is... You you know your your pit your rotors will start to pitch forward basically because it's adjusting the bite. There we go. That's what I need to do. Start doing that. And ready G space. Oh crap! I need to decouple. Decouple. There we go. Is this gonna work? Oh crap! That didn't work. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, what happens in a helicopter is, you know, your joystick adjusts the, the bite, the angle at which the rotor blades hit the air. And when you push it forwards, uh, it means the ones at the front are biting less. And so your aircraft starts to pitch forward. And then, of course, you pull the joystick back and you're pitching forward a little now and your helicopter starts to move forward. The problem is, that means you're now, your vertical force vector is now being applied sideways. And so to offset that, you uh, need to increase your collective, you need to increase the overall angle. And so you do that by pulling back on this lever at the side. But then, uh, and that's so that keeps you vertical, but then, you know, because you're hitting the, bl the blades are hitting the air at a steeper angle, you need to now increase your throttle, right? So there's a throttle, you know, you can twist uh, this lever as well to increase the throttle. <laughs> and, but then as you increase the throttle, you're now putting more force through these rotor blades on top, and so your air aircraft is going to start to torque around, and so you have to offset that with the pedals at the same time. So this is about as easy to fly as a real helicopter, it would seem. Let's try this one more time, see if I can make it less, less comical. Apparently he has also created a Chinook, a twin blade version. That might be more stable, but uh, this is at least comical. Okay, so here we go. Oh yeah, get on here, decouple node, ready, gear space, no, oh. excellent, 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 oh look, 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 oh yes, now look at that, truly, truly magnificent, huh? <laughs> okay, now let's see if I can, 
Uh, okay, try to get little control here. Oh, there, that's pretty. That's much better. Maybe I was. Maybe I was doing it wrong. Maybe I was pushing the wrong button. Let's try. Oh no no no! Come back here. I want to go forwards. Darn it! Forwards. Forwards. There. That's right. Oh no! Come on. Let's try and head towards the vehicle assembly building. I said forwards. Oh man, I need my extra fingers here. This uh, this thing has nothing on dock. Oh look, I'm out of RCS fuel. <laughs> Maybe if I bring up the debug menu, that will help. Let's not have infinite fuel because we do want this thing to eventually land. Okay, there we go, RCS fuel. It's, it's working now, it didn't work the last time. I don't know what was going on there. Uh, it was probably something that someone will point out in a post to my channel because People always point out what I'm doing wrong, even after I've done things exceptionally well. Uh, apparently I don't really have any way to... Uh, come on, I'm trying to get the nose down here. Nose down! There we go, look. It just wants to pitch backwards. Who, who designed this thing? Oh yeah, uh, an evil genius obviously designed this contraption. And uh, he deserves to take over the world in this thing. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, no, 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 that way, that way. There we go. There, look. No, no, crap. crap. Come back. I need you to go that way. No. joke about like DCS Black Shark being like the most difficult game to play, the most difficult helicopter simulator, but I suspect that this actually has something on it. Oh no, I'm pitching backwards again. Yep. Completely impossible to fly. Uh dear 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 dear. <laughs> yeah, evil genius, meticulous Mitch. The man deserves a million internets for coming up with this. I really, really am darn impressed by that bearing that, that works. It has wheels and stuff in there holding basically a large black tank. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no! There needs to be a prize for the first person to actually build a helicopter that includes, uh... Oh, gotta go this way. There we go! Look! <laughs> there, of course, once this starts, there's basically no way to shut down the power to those rotor blades. Uh, so you're basically, you're stuck. I mean, I guess... I Oh, wait, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. How much am I doing? I, I'm gonna run out of fuel soon. Maybe, maybe I can auto-rotate and glide this down to a land. What do you think? Anyone want to place bets? I wouldn't take that bet. <laughs> Definitely gonna try getting nose down a little. Come on, come on! Get me, get me rotated here. Get me rotated. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> this is even more impractical than a robot suit in space, I have to say, and almost as exciting. Al although it's not nearly as spectacular, it doesn't fire nearly as many uh, missiles simultaneously. Okay, come on. This, it, needless to say, this is not going to be part of my reusable space program, and due to the fact that it probably uh, can't actually do any... I'd probably never get this anywhere near space, never mind. <laughs> Ah, to the moon! Ah, 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 dear! I feel like such such an idiot. There, we must be about to run out, surely. No? Can I right-click on this? Look, I'm, I, I've held this thing in the air for three minutes. That must be some kind of record, right? Okay. No, we we got the thing almost under control. No? No, 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 no. Maybe I can land it and not kill the pilot. That's my that's my goal, right? Land it and not kill the pilot. I'm just still trying to rotate this thing towards horizontal. And it doesn't want to comply. It's getting lower and lower. 
Ah, how close is it getting? There. Excellent! Aha! He's a victor! <laughs> he survived! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was the most ridiculous five minutes of Kerbal Space Program video I've ever made. Uh, back to the real stuff uh, soon. I'm Scott Manley. <laughs> Fly safe. <laughs>